So we just had a new version released with Gato 4.1 Dev 4 earlier this month. Here's what you need to know. It includes some final new additions to Gato 4.1 before the next official build, which will be the first 4.1 beta. This means that these will be the last new features we can expect for 4.1, as the focus shifts to bug fixing and documentation improvements. The project management in Gato has always been a little lackluster. You just sort of get a long list of everything and there hasn't been an easy way to organize it. But now you can assign custom tags to your projects to help you organize them just a little bit better. More project management improvements will be coming in the future, but the tagging system was a priority to get the organization started. Pre-shader compilation is now possible for those of you that want to reduce stutters during pipeline object creation. If that sounds like a foreign language to you, then you probably don't need it. Gato already caches shaders, so this will be a more specialized kind of optimization. C Sharp developers can now use global classes, which means custom C Sharp types are available in the editor, much like GDScript classes. This should allow for easier adjustments of things like stats, resources, and modifiers for any scripts. Another GD extension improvement has been made allowing you to register new editor plugins. So you can create plugins in any language available quickly and efficiently. You can check out the full list of changes in the release notes on gatoengine.org. A link to that and the download link to 4.1 Dev 4 are in the description. Stay tuned for more Gato news and content. Leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, keep creating.